And here's our next of bout. The world. From Chesapeake, Virginia, standing six feet tall, weighing in tonight at 179 pounds, Steve Faulkner. What does he bring to the table? Steve Faulkner's the number one Wing Chun guy in the world today. What did he weigh in at? 179 pounds. This guy's like a rock. Simultaneous block and bunch, low kicks to the knees, big elbows. Let's see what he can do against Igor Houdini Zinoviev. And Igor Houdini Zinoviev indeed will be stiff competition. There you get a look at Steve Faulkner, 14 and 0. And there's no doubt will be his toughest test because he's facing somebody who really found himself in the last bout. I think this guy Steve Faulkner is an incredibly tough guy. And his opponent from St. Petersburg, Russia. And he's six feet tall. Weighing in tonight at 187 pounds. Eager Zenobia. Igor Zinoviev gets quite a reception here. He is well known after Extreme Fighting Wars. Looks like the girls like him too. Well, he puts quite a move on Mario Ferry to end the Extreme Fighting match before Faulkner 31, Zinoviev 29. Everything else about them the same. A considerable advantage perhaps for Zinoviev with the 11 pound differential and Igor Zinoviev beat a guy who was 273 and 0 now he faces a guy 14 and 0 he's got to think it's a different story here too whole different game though uh, Brazilian jiu-jitsu tournaments versus uh, a really well-rounded uh, all-around fighter uh, whose style is very very alien to Mr. Zinoviev so I mean he's never seen a Wing Chun fighter before in his life and this guy's a classic From Wing Chun fighter Virginia with 13 years in the discipline of Wing Chun with Duncan Leong. He has an undefeated fighting record of 14 and 0. He is 31 years old. He is Steve Faulkner. And his opponent from St. Petersburg, Russia, standing six feet tall. Weighing in tonight at 187 pounds. He was the captain of the Russian Sambo team with a fighting record of 17 and 0. He is the current middleweight extreme fighting champion of the world, Igor Zinoviev. Well, Igor Zinoviev to some may be the heart and soul of extreme fighting, the new star that's been on the horizon. Now, John, the style that he's going to face, how will it represent itself here, and what problems could it present for Igor? It could present big problems. He's never faced anyone who, who blocks punches and kicks like this guy does, all simultaneously. He's going to have to get in close. Let's see what he has in mind. Now, Zinoviev piles up right up. Oh! Extremely big advantage right away for Igor Zinoviev. He wasted no time. 10 seconds to say I'm the boss. Now, will he be the boss? <laughs> Side control as we see, but eager has got a tremendous crunch to his power. Let's see if he mounts. Well, that was so compact, he just waited for Faulkner to come at him and then went right to business. Eager's got a tremendous right hand. Let's see if he uses it. No, he didn't get the chance there. He's got the hooks nice. in. That's a rear naked. He's tapping out. Wow, Igor Zinoviev wasting no time. 45 seconds, the heart and soul of extreme fighting for very good reason. Right down to earth, terrific execution really. And uh, now we've seen it all in three different bouts here. Yeah, we have. Rear nakeds. John Don, who wisely stopped that fight. Well, what did he defeat in that style that could have given him problems? It looked like it didn't bother him at all. Well. Steve Faulkner didn't get his distance game and he charged him which was the right thing to do and by this point you see Igor the, Zinoviev has taken over you see the rear naked implied and uh, 
And, you know, John Donahue knows finishing holes better than Steve Faulkner does. Winner by submission, and it's still extreme middleweight champion of the world, Igor Zinoviev. Well, Igor Zinoviev in 44 seconds, that will put him somewhere in the annals of the quickest victories in extreme fighting. Look at people looking that as Igor Zinoviev in typical low-key, low-profile fashion. Really making his mark here in a nice way. Well, we've had...